How's it going guys? Welcome back to Project Player. Today we're going to have a look at Fallout 4 and in this video I'm going to cover how to optimize this game for your computer. This is not necessarily for the low end computers where you might be getting 30 frames per second or so but just for those high end ones where you have those dips down to like 45 and you want to maintain that 60 frame rate. Let's get into it. First of all, what you want to do is boot up the launcher for Fallout. You can just do that by clicking play under the Steam section. And go into options and just set everything to ultra. And what you want to do is just see how, uh, just compare these settings. It should automatically set everything here to ultra. The view distance should be, everything should be on ultra except uh, weapon debris. Uh, just leave that off for now. This is a default settings as well. It's very taxing on your performance and it doesn't show any noticeable visual improvement. Alright, let's get into the game. Alright, so as we can see, I'm in Diamond City, which is like one of the main cities uh, of the game. And uh, you should be able to see the frame rate up top. It's currently on 60. Notice that everything is uh, on Ultra as well. What I'm going to do uh, for this benchmark, what I'm going to do is just go up these stairs. All the way up here. What I'm going to do is just look at the city, see how it drops down to about 50. And this is really annoying when you play the game. It kind of breaks immersion. Uh, when you're like walking through the steps and oh it's 40 frames again fuck my life right so what you want to do is save the game here make a quick checkpoint you can do this by creating a quick save file or just pressing F5 I think uh, what you want to do is go into the command and type TGM that's to enter guard mode what you want to do is just shoot uh, one of the guards here and they'll all start attacking you what this does is uh, it's gonna use a lot of your resources and it's gonna put your system under a lot more stress than if you're just staring at the screen. So what I'm doing now is now that I've saved it, what I do is um, exit out of the game. Uh, you can just press T to go into your desktop easily. Alright guys, once you're at the desktop, you can see how when I started uh, going up those stairs and attacking the NPCs and they attacked back. You can see how my CP usage has dramatically increased just about by 32 maybe 40% from what it was originally down here so this just means that your game is putting actual stress on your system so which is good it's what we want for a benchmark because during the normal course of the game you won't be under that type of stress because there's an entire city attacking you alright so what you want to do is go may uh, start up the game from the launcher uh, go into options and go into advanced first what you want to do is set your shadow quality to high and you want to set your shadow distance to high and I'll uh, and I'll compare how this affects in terms of graphics quality later on uh, just leave all these on ultra you can turn down god rays to medium if you really want uh, this this is also one of the high impact uh, high taxing for my graphic settings so I just generally leave this on medium uh, you can leave this on high if you have a high-end system alright so just leave set okay set okay and start the game and uh, just load up that quick save that uh, we made previously. Alright, now we're back here. We can already notice how it's at 60 frames per second uh, b before it was already on like 40 or maybe lower as well. 40, 45, 39 or so I think I saw. Uh, what I do here is uh, go into the command by pressing the tilde key that's just on top of the tab key and then type TGM this just makes sure that you enter god mode in game you can go into third person as well what you want to aim here is to get above 49 frames per second at all times so what i do is uh, just attack run some random npc and then get the entire city to attack me so if i'm down here then um, i don't really get a performance drop because there's not much being rendered on the screen just this bit so but if i go all the way up here this is where you enter the city by the way, if you didn't know. See how it drops to about 54, 55 frames per second? <laughs> Sorry, frames per second. And uh, you can see that this is actually really good. This is what we're aiming for. If you can hit above 50 frames per second in this scene, 
which is probably the most intensive scene in the game, uh, you should be good. You should be good to uh, go. Uh, you can just attack these people. Just wait it out for like a couple of seconds because sometimes there's more people coming and attacking you. And uh, I'm looking at my CPU graph on the other monitor and it just went from about 30% to 79% just as I started attacking uh, the city. Uh, what you can also do is um, go down here. Uh, okay. And go into this, uh, this thing and then go up on it. This just sort of renders the entire city. Uh, just letting you know if you're wondering, the culprit here was the shadow settings. It just lit, it's just literally broken on uh, ultra, I'm oh, sorry, high, I think it was high, high and, uh, no it was ultra, sorry it was ultra, yeah it was, it's just broken on ultra and uh, the shadow distance on ultra as well. Uh, so if I look down here, I'm getting about 59 it dropped to like 53 for a second and it went back up but that's what we want we want above 50 frames per second at all times on this area uh, this will pretty much guarantee you that you will get 60 fps and if you don't get above 50 frames per second in here just try turning off the god rays from your settings and turn off uh, turn, keep lowering your shadow settings because those are the most intensive now, uh, if you have an AMD CPU, I'm sorry to tell you that this game will run like absolute dog shit on your system, uh, just because of how this game was made, and it's just not very well optimized for the AMD cards, uh, AMD CPUs. That's not to say that um, they're not that powerful to begin with. Uh, don't hate; it's just true. They're, the architecture of the AMD CPU is pretty old as well. Uh, so what I want to do out uh, here is now I'll just show you a comparison between normal uh, high shadows and ultra shadows. Just a note here, this is everything running on ultra. Uh, I'm in the city that's just outside of the diamond city. That's the entrance to it. So you come out, you see the statue, and I'm just going to have a run through the city just to show you what sort of shadows are uh, being changed and whatnot. This is on ultra settings. Alright guys, this is running on the higher settings, so you should be able to compare the previous ones to these settings. There we go.
Okay, so it's a shadow test. Um, from what I saw, they were very similar. The older shadow uh, appearing distance from ultra to high, they were all about the same for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were for you as well. And the shadow poppings, you can't really do much about it. Uh, it's just better to run the game overall on the high settings because you get a more consistent frame rate that way. I prefer to do it on high anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. If it was, just leave a comment down in the description, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.